When the time comes for a family to find child care for their young children, many parents consider enrolling their children in child care centers. At a child care center, children are cared for in large groups, usually in a building that is designed for children's activities. While child care centers meet the needs of many working parents, others are more comfortable with a family child care arrangement. Yeah. Hey, say it again. And whose name starts with the K? K. In family child care, small groups of children are cared for in a person's home. In West Virginia, there are nearly 5,000 registered homes serving over 14,000 children. Only 10,000 children are in child care centers, making family child care the most used form of care. There are many benefits to family child care. In family child care homes, there is a small group of children. This allows the child the opportunity to establish a close relationship with the caregiver and the other children, which is very important in their early years. Some family child care providers provide care when children are sick. This is important for parents who have a difficult time arranging time off from work or school to care for a sick child. Some providers care for children at night for parents who work evening or overnight shifts. Many parents prefer the home atmosphere of family care. The smaller, more personal setting of family child care can be a warm and loving environment for a child. How about a big tower? Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> but parents need to know that family child care is not highly regulated. Family child care providers can register with the state, but this is a voluntary process. Those who are registered are monitored to be sure that their homes are clean and safe. The state also makes sure that registered providers aren't caring for too many children. It is important to your child that you find a quality family child care home that goes above and beyond the minimum regulations. Your choice of care will impact your child's future in many ways. Write your name on the board. K E I need somebody to Children in quality child care programs will do better in school and find good jobs when they grow up. They develop strong language and social skills, and they learn to have trusting relationships. Quality child care can provide many opportunities for your child. Poor care can be harmful to them. It is up to you to find the best possible care for your child. Family child care homes are in almost every community, and it usually isn't difficult to find them. Family child care providers sometimes advertise in newspapers and grocery store bulletin boards. Sometimes parents get referrals from other families. But your local child care resource and referral agency will probably be most helpful in locating a family child care provider. Good morning, Lady Child Care Resource and Referral. These agencies keep detailed list of registered family child care providers offering services in various counties. The staff can help you locate a registered provider near your home or workplace. They also give parents information on how to choose a quality family child care program. After you have a list of providers you're interested in, make some phone calls. Hello. I was wondering if you had an opening. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I have an opening. During your phone call, you are trying to find out if the provider can meet your family's child care needs. Ask if space is available for your child. Find out where the provider is located and what hours of the day are spent caring for children. If the phone call sounds promising, then make an appointment to visit the home. Never make a decision about your child care arrangement after one phone call. It is important that you follow these steps before you make a decision. Stop. Look and listen. Stop in and visit the family child care home. Interview the provider. Look everywhere you can for signs of quality care. Listen to how the children interact with the provider.
It is essential that you stop in for an interview and a visit at the family child care home before you make a decision about child care. Plan to visit in the morning when all of the children will be playing. Go without your child so you can concentrate on what you're seeing. Interviewing the provider helps you learn more about their child care philosophy and rules. Have your questions written down before your visit so that you aren't struggling to remember them. How many children do you keep? Six. Six. And you're open. Ask to see the provider's registration certificate. Providers are not required to be registered, but registered providers have met minimum standards for health and safety. A provider who has made the effort to become registered is also more likely to be committed to providing quality care. Other questions you should ask the provider include, what experience and training do you have? How do you make children behave? Be sure the provider's view of discipline is similar to your family's ideas. Spanking is not an acceptable form of discipline for a caregiver to use. What are your hours? Do you have flexible hours for pickup? What are your fees and when are they due? Do you accept subsidy payment? Do I pay when you're on vacation? Do I pay for holidays? Do you care for sick children? What happens if my child becomes sick during the day? What happens if you are sick? Do you have a reliable substitute? Who is it? Do you allow smoking in your home when children are there? Do you provide meals and snacks? Who provides the diapers, baby food, and formula? What else will my child need during the day? It is also a good idea to ask the provider why they began offering family child care services in their homes. Ask them about their experiences. If you listen carefully to their answers, you'll learn a lot about how the provider feels about caring for young children. Finally, ask for references. Quality providers will not be insulted by this request and will respect your thoroughness. Although the provider has made an appointment to talk with you, it is important to remember that their first responsibility is to the children. What did you want to ask me, Mom? Can I, can I play with the puzzles? Yes, you may. Your interview may be interrupted several times so the provider can comfort a crying child, find a toy, or change a diaper. This is a good sign. A caregiver who puts their children before you will put your child first, too. By the end of the interview, you should have a pretty good idea of whether or not the provider's program will work for you and your family. If you're pleased with what you've learned so far, continue with your visit. Awesome. Thank you. Although family child care is located in a home, there should still be plenty of room for children to play without fear of being hurt or breaking things. A quality family child care home will give the children an environment that they can explore and move around in comfortably. There should be enough room for play and resting. And Papa Bear says, somebody Count how many children are there. In a registered home, there should be no more than six children and no more than two children under the age of two being cared for at the same time. This includes the provider's own children under the age of six. The children should seem happy and busy with activities. Boredom may signal a problem. There should be a variety of toys and learning materials for children of all ages in the provider's care. Look for a posted schedule of the day's activities. There should be plans for active indoor and outdoor playtime, art time, and nap time. If there is a TV on, Watch to be sure that it isn't on too much. The children should only watch educational programming and not adult programming such as game shows or soap operas. Is there a household pet? If your child has allergies, this may be of concern to you. Watch closely to see how well the animal reacts to the children. Ask to see all areas of the house that are used for children. Everything in the home should be childproof. You should see protective coverings on electrical outlets. Dangerous cleaners and chemicals must be stored out of reach of the children. Emergency numbers should be located right beside the telephone. It is also important to see how health issues are taken care of in the family child care home. Diaper changing areas should be cleaned each time and providers should wash their hands after changing a diaper. Carpets and floors should be kept clean. 
Children should be encouraged to wash their hands before meals and brush their teeth after meals. Observe what the children eat for lunch. Is the meal nutritious? You should see fruits, vegetables, bread, and protein being offered in a family dining atmosphere. If the family child care provider participates in the United States Department of Agriculture's family child care food program, they are being reimbursed for money spent only on nutritious, healthy food. They are also being monitored to be sure their meals meet healthy guidelines for young children. There should be an outdoor play area for the children. If the play area is located near a busy street, it must be fenced. Examine the play equipment to be sure it is in good condition. Check to see if the surface under the play equipment is cushioned with wood chips, grass, or other soft material. The caregiver should supervise and interact with the children at all times during outdoor play. Activities outside of the home, such as neighborhood walks or field trips, provide children with excellent experiences. Be sure that these activities are safe for children and that the provider has car seats and safety belts available for every child who may be traveling in their vehicle. Looking for signs of quality will give you important information to use as you decide if a family child care home is right for your family and your child. But it is important that you also listen for sounds of quality. She knows how to do it. She knows how to do it. Come on, this way, share. Let me share. Okay? Kiki's building a tower. You building a tower? You can expect to hear a bit of noise in a family child care home, depending on the ages of the children and how many are cared for. Happy, excited voices are a good sign that the children feel safe and are enjoying themselves. If things are too quiet, that can be a sign that there isn't enough activity for the children. If things are too loud, it may mean that the provider lacks control. Listen to the sounds in the room. Do you hear music or singing? Nay, nay, come on, we're dancing. Come on, come on. Are there loud and quiet activities? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay, we did it. Children should feel free to talk with the provider and express their needs and feelings. Oh, you wanted to follow the leader? Okay, well, follow me. Ready? You can learn a lot about providers by listening to the ways they interact with children. A quality family child care provider speaks to children at eye level and listens to what they have to say. Which one would you like to do, Kiki? I want my left foot. Right foot? Okay, we'll give, Ken, we'll give you this one. We'll give Kendall another one. Here, Ken, you want the numbers? You like the numbers. They use words that show respect for a child and their feelings. They ask questions that help the child learn to express their thoughts and feelings. Who is this right here? That's my daddy. And who is this? Nay, nay. And who's this down here? My mom. So you have every your whole family together, so where are you going? They go to the car. They speak in patient and cheerful tones. Where did Kyle go? Where did he go? Above all, you should be able to tell by the provider's words and tone of voice that they enjoy being with children. What's down there, the horse mate? What, what about a lion? After stopping in for a visit, looking around the home and listening to how the children and provider interact, you may feel ready to make your decision, but first, follow up on references. Find out what the caregiver's plans are for the next three years, and visit again on an evening or during the weekend when you can bring your child with you. After you have chosen a quality family daycare, remember it is important to stay involved. Most family child care providers receive little or no supervision. It is up to you to know what is going on during your child's day. Even though your child is in a family child care home and there may not be organized parents groups or fundraising efforts as in child care centers, you can still be involved in your child's care. It is important to talk with the provider about your child a few minutes before and after each day. Ask what your child does in child care. Share what they do at home. 
help the provider collect useful items such as old magazines, scraps of material, pieces of wood, or good used toys. You can help plan special occasions such as birthday celebrations. Join field trips or visit your child for lunch. A quality provider will keep their doors open to parents at any time. Find creative ways to be involved even if it is something as simple as leaving a phone message for your child to listen to after nap time. Hi, Nene. This is Mommy. I just called to tell you I love you and I miss you and I got you. There are many things that parents need to remember when they're looking for a quality family child care home. It can be a long and challenging process to find the right family child care home for your child. But the efforts are well worth it. You are making one of the most important decisions in your child's life. You are not only choosing your child's caregiver, but their teacher and friend. By taking the time to make a thoughtful decision about child care, you will find support for your family today and a better future for your child tomorrow. It's info!